Minnesota, we talked about road troubles. They have struggled to win here at the barn. The last win coming in 2015. A late shot clock situation on the first possession. It's Robbins who brings it home. Shooting back there. Empty opportunity there for Ohio State. Here's Gotch on the move. They would like to get him going if they could. And it's Robbins who has the first five points. Minnesota has had success against several big men opponents with the double team this year. Again, Gotch, and again, it's the putback. You're going to be in a deep hole, and it's going to be very hard to climb out. He said they played right into Wisconsin hands. They shot 19% from the floor in the first half. Gotch, that's his first bucket. Minnesota, but there is an adjustment for the Pac-12 to the Big Ten. Much more physical in this league. Just as suing, the transfer from Cal finding that out as well, and the three knocked down from Kyle Young. Very patient offense. We've seen Minnesota when they haven't been in transition. Their half court opportunities. Here's Gotch again, an aggressive look, and he knocks the corner through. Taken four of the first seven shots here from Minnesota. Here is Carr again distributing. To Robbins, and he's got seven points. Is it EJ, is it EJ Liddell? seven of the team's last nine points. This is a player that scored in double figures, got off to a, a season hot start, and they needed that one from Dwayne Washington for three. And a priority for Richard Pitino here to start this year. Ohio State with a third opportunity and falling back that time, Eugene Brown gets it. And they feed the freshman, and that double team coming over that time by Eric Curry. Washington hit his last three-pointer. He goes back-to-back -back for Ohio State January. Well, especially the game after ours. That, that's essentially for first place. Raise the sheriff. Little runner. So doing us the answer. And the Patino family did not. A 12-1 scoring run for Ohio State. And Mashburn knocks down the three. It's the third three-point make for the Gophers. Seven points in seven minutes of play here to start for Booth. Gosh, right down the middle of that time for Suey. Down as his first shot attempt yet in this game. Two-point edge here for Minnesota. Again, taking it right deep inside the lane here for the Buckeyes. I think you're... Kelsher is hit his only shot, and he gets the soft touch. He's got four points. Washington has hit a couple. That's his third. Down one with no Marcus Carr field goals. Robbins staying with it. So my thought bubble was answered. It's, it's concrete now. It's a longer bubble. Robbins with that deep post job. He's like caught. The mask does not mask your words, okay? <laughs> Especially the ones they're wearing. You can, uh, you can see through, You can right? see through, so you I'm sure. You can see everything. You can hear everything and see everything. So that there's no spray when they whistle. So that's another new wrinkle this season. Lots of new wrinkles. We'll get into that a little bit more, right? And Mashburn hits his second. And that goes for individual players, but also programs, right? Yes. Pull up for Mashburn. Giving him some offensive punch off the bench. Paul Robbins affecting that shot by C.J. Walker. Cross-court pass here to Kelsher for three. Streaks and, and hot shooting. <laughs> Arms for three. You know, Lisa, another name you have not called much. Right there setting the screen, Brandon Johnson. He's picked up a couple of fouls early. There's the first bucket. Kalsher giving it up to Johnson, who played some limited. 200. If you do get over 200, there's a good chance you're playing pretty good, efficient basketball. Liddell with the hard tip was to stop their transition points. And the Scarlet and Gray doing a good job getting numbers back that time. Robbins with the spin move off the glass. You can count it, and one. Liddell was there challenging. And Walker on the push, lays it off nicely for the finger roll finish for E.J. Liddell. In the first half, six here for the game. 
to the freshman Zed Key going to work on Robbins. One advantage here for Minnesota. And here's Mashburn. Don't have the numbers, so he'll take it himself. Coming high off the glass. An athletic move by the junior. It has um, avoided actually giving you the shout out, even if I had known that. Walker, hang in. And one that time for Key. Some of these high profile games, so it will be hard to judge. But the Big Ten is still going to get what it deserves. And right now, they would get 11 teams in. Yeah, that's a projection. It's Kelsher. All right. <laughs> Washington made the three-point basket there for Ohio State. Coming out of the break. Eight-point advantage. Here's Carr, who's been quiet. And uh-oh. Some of his shots. Two of eight shooting. That's his first three-point make of the game. Here's Washington. Yeah. Well, the stack there at the top. Try to free him up. Hedge was right there, but we've got you. Oh. And he did a great job at just his right foot. He made sure that he stepped back to make sure that was a three-point shot. This is all fair game. <laughs> You're a good sport about it. Oh, Marcus Carr somehow getting that one to fall. Um, Gates, uh, all that might be known a little bit more, so uh, that'll be good information. Washington pulls and fires and hits. It's a and really, there was no choice, Lisa, because you got to deal with one governor, one state's you know, health protocols. Limit the trade. Kelsher answers on the other end with a three of his own, with, with two hands in the first half, even, that we saw. With that, you really have to time so you don't commit the foul. And there is Robbins. That's a one-handed putback. To it. And Marcus Carr actually said that he did benefit from it. He didn't like it, but he did benefit from sitting out. Yeah. Oh, spin move. What a move that time for Musa Jallo. Seeing to see with the net rankings coming out tomorrow how the selection committee eventually in the next few weeks, the next few months, handles these Big Ten teams. A 17-point performance or 17-point win for Minnesota 